I guess. For sure, for sure. So, very fittingly, we're going to have a very kind of funny-esque rapid fire here. Um, the last two weeks we've been talking about, all about sacred symbols. So almost serendipitously, we're going to be talking about kind of funny here. Um, there was a clip I found, uh, again, on Twitter. Um, I'm on it way too much. And they brought up an interesting thing that I've really never thought about, and I really wanted to pick your mind. What, first off, I don't know what your stance is on, on even the, these two series, really. Um, oh, I know what my stance is, but go ahead and Oh, ask. I'm excited. <laughs> but the, the question was brought up, what would be better? The Batman Arkham games, and it was kind of loose. I don't know if a specific game was being mentioned. I didn't watch the full show. I, I just saw, watched the clip, but as far as I understand, like, or I think it was kind of in general, are the Batman games or the Spider-Man game better, et cetera, et cetera. Certain people took certain stances. Um, and I really, when I watched it, I was like, oh, that is very interesting. I do really want to think about it. And I really did think about it. And I, I would come to a certain conclusion, but I want to hear your, I want to hear you, you first, because you have an interesting perspective, I think. I'll say it like this, and I'm going to elaborate slightly, but this will tell you everything you need to know. My top 100 list, my keeping it 100 list, my favorite games of all time. Miles Morales is like, I want to say it's like number four. Whoa. <laughs> It's it's like it's top ten. Fuck uh, yeah. I'm actually trying to trying to pull it up right now to get an exact listing, but uh, that is number whatever it is. Actually, yeah, it is number four. Yeah, right behind The Last of Us. Yeah, um, so that's there. I don't have a single Batman game on this entire list of hundred games, so that tells you everything to know right there. But uh, really out of a hundred games, to- you don't have a single Batman Arkham game. Interesting. Nah, and I've played the entire trilogy. Yeah, I haven't played Origins. That's the only one. Um, and that's because while I enjoy the Batman games, I think they are well designed. I think that, you know, the combat's fun, finding secrets and all that stuff is fun. I feel like the story in those games is told very dryly, um, where it doesn't feel the stories don't feel emotional. They don't feel a lot of characters don't feel expressive. They feel like just the plain archetypes and that's it. Um, it feels very bog standard to me. And I felt that with all the games, uh, Arkham Knight was a little bit of a slog to get through because I remember I remember this one Batmobile mission where it was literally like popped up 64 cars you got to take out. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm going to be here for the next 10 minutes shooting cars um, <laughs> as but, Batman. Exactly. That's my exactly, Batman right? fantasy shooting cars. <laughs> exactly. That's the what I sign up for. Um, but no, uh, yeah, the Batman games are fine. I don't think any of them are bad, but they're kind of in that tier where I kind of think of them a lot in the same light as something like Portal 1 and 2, where they're great games and I enjoy them, but they don't like stick to my ribs specifically. Um, okay. they, they, they're just not resonating with me in the same way that they resonate to a lot of people. So I can accept that they're great games. I think they're great, but it's Spider-Man all the way. It's way more fun just getting around that game than Batman and like I said, the story in both of the Spider-Man games, but especially Miles Morales, hits so hard for me that there's no contest. So to to kind of put a bow on this, I basically agree with almost everything you're saying. I do find emotion the main thing that's lacking in the Arkham series. Um, you don't really feel attached to too many people, probably because the stakes don't really feel any high at any point. Batman's not going to die, right? So, you know, Robin... You know, has a chance, but he's never really in the game. So you're not really in fear of anyone. And then you don't really get attached to anyone because Bruce is kind of Bruce. He's, you know, he's Bruce Wayne from the other Bruce Wayne stories you've heard. And he's the kind of the same Batman, too. I would I would say Arkham Asylum probably does the best thing of trying to, like, have you sympathize with him, maybe with with kind of like the scarecrow missions and things like that. I did find myself finding that. uh, And I put this on Twitter that I think Asylum and City are much more better overall games versus spider-man because there's so much below in the instance of like the crimes Mm -hmm. and the side missions that were just very uninspired whereas in arkham i I am very especially arkham city i'm very uh interested in doing like the side missions and things that way i do have to agree though i believe miles morales is probably the better one out of all of them um because i just am way way and it's not even close like way more attached to miles way more attached to like the neighborhood um, way more attached to his relationship with a character. I don't want to spoil the game, so like a specific character that you find things out later in the game about, and I was yep. incredibly attached to that relationship and how dynamic it was. Um, I loved uh, the way they use um, specific people in both Spider-Man and Miles Morales to subvert your expectations. Um, I'll, I'll 
lightly spoil it now, but the way they were able to hide who the main antagonist was in the first Spider-Man was brilliant marketing. Yeah. Brilliant. Like they were never, they never really gave it away um, for people who are super hardcore into it. Uh, and I loved that surprise when I was playing. The game. I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. But um, I, 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 I agree. I think the first two are much more complete, especially compared to Spider-Man. But Miles beats them all. Almost probably no contest. Hell yeah. 400 percent. Blue boxes on Overwatch will not be available for sale past August 30th. So do with that what you will. <laughs> and uh, I found this very fun. Although, uh, I am annoying when these things are brought up, but, uh, if you ever w- listen to Kind of Funny, they of course have a PSI Love You, which is a PlayStation podcast, and they released a, uh, kind of like a, uh, college basketball-esque seeding of the PlayStation's best indie darling is the ex- exact, exact name of this contest, I would say. And yep. they've got some, they have a lot, I will not name them all, but they have a lot of games on here, and it's very interesting, I think they are going to do this over one episode, which, uh, shout out, that's, that's gonna possible. be, a, that's gonna be long, but hey, yeah, I, you can do it, uh, that would be very hard, um, but there are a couple things I wanted to shout out, and also I wanted to ask you, are there, first off, anything that, uh, you want to just bring up, and second, is there something that you find that is missing, that is just, uh, I feared this i because i i heard them make the call to add stuff to this list i had forgotten about it so in the middle of last night i like wrote into the form real quick and i added risk of rain 2 and what do i not see on here risk of rain 2 is not on this (laughs) list which is fair they probably made the bracket like yesterday or something like that or you know they needed time to make it look all nice but what the fuck is Graceful Explosion Machine? You could have taken that off for us. Oh, there's a couple where I'm like, come on. And there's a few that I'm like, is that an indie game? Yeah, a couple of these games have a lot of people working on them. Um, if I'm, I'll, Yeah. So there's a couple where I'm like, is, I don't know if that calls for the indie game. But, you know, we've never really identified what an indie game is. So I can't blame them too much. Um, I mean, if you want to be specific, technically an indie game is just independent Some, publisher yeah not a big publisher behind it that is so true you but off, you that means day. ubisoft is an indie right <sighs> so like oh wait is, uh what is it what's that game Cyan- not cyanar wild hearts first off the that's an amazing game. game that should be on this list i think is it not on this li- yes yeah, it's, it's on this list it is uh, I yeah, have a right uh top right triangle nobody saves uh, the world oh 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 you're right jesus there you go there you go i can't believe i missed um, that but yeah i'm trying to think like what What's that World War Two game or World War One game that Ubisoft made? I oh, uh, Violent of of, of vi- Jesus, Valiant, Valiant, Valiant Heart. Heart. Yeah, Valiant yeah, Heart. Yeah, yeah, it was a great game. Yeah, cry. Yeah, that that was a really good game. Um, but I think people just conflate that as an indie just because it has that aesthetic to it. We're really, you know, big publisher behind it. So if you want to say, oh, big publisher, not indie, you could take off Little Nightmares too. You could take off a handful of these games. Ken of Bridge of Spirits. Ooh, I don't know about indie. that. <laughs> that feels too much of a way too polished game. right mm-hmm. yeah it's not even a polished thing it's just like what's the scope of what you're going for i think that if they want to get the that's a good point i, I misused that yeah I, I didn't necessarily mean yeah. polished more as like i think a, I, I think over 50 people worked on that game or something like that i don't remember i don't remember yeah. uh i would have to look it up but like you know i'd say hollow knight i'd say hollow knight and canna bridge of spirits have the same amount of polish but the scope is different yeah um so yeah i some of these just get me really annoyed. Okay, no disrespect to Bastion. Bastion, it's on my top. What are you about games. to say? What are you about to say? We could have taken that off for Risk of Rain too. <laughs> so oh, I'm saying. no! I think I think no, people no. just said fuck Risk of Rain. We don't care. We don't know what that is. And I wrote it in, and they did not. I probably just wrote it in too late, so I'm not too too upset. But goddamn it, some of these I'm just like, who cares about these? Like, let, I will oh, say, wait, why, never why is Fall Pause. Guys on here? Well, go ahead. Fall, Fall Guys is no longer an indie. It was an indie. As soon as you get bought by Epic, you lose your rights. To yeah, I don't think we should add Fall Guys to this, even if it wasn't. Yeah, indie. exactly. I, I I don't fuck with that. Not really but in the spirit of an indie game. I think. One thing I can pull for in the similar spirit of Risk of Rain 2, Slay the Spire is on here. Is it? And I, I It is. Fuck Ra's yeah. Circle, right in the left, uh, next Iconoclast. I 
love Slate Aspire. I've talked about it a handful of times here and there. That game is one of the greatest games of all time. Um, and it's in the similar vein of Risk of Rain 2, where it's very, uh, how do I say, it's a roguelike and it's very specific to, you know, it's it's all about getting the rundown. And when you get a good run, it feels incredible. So Slate Aspire is a good it does. one. Um, Thank you, by the way, for recommending that. I oh, yeah, haven't stopped yeah. playing it <laughs> since you recommended it to me a month ago or something like that. So yeah, good. It's it is such good. a good game. Um, I want to shout out. Thank God Hades is on here. I am yeah, very good. much. That is probably my winner out of all this, although Journey is very close. Oh. Um, there's a couple. I don't even know if I have a winner. This gone, is gone home, special place in my heart. Cuphead yeah. feels strange to be on a PlayStation's best indie darling thing, but I I understand it's not. It it is identified as a PlayStation indie. It is just PlayStation as a system's best indie. Um, yeah, exactly. Although it is possessive s, so you would think it is. It doesn't matter. Um. I think that's all I have. Celeste is is a good one I want to bring up. That's like, damn that that could win definitely. Um, Among Us shout out to just being on there because I think that was made by like six people or something like that. So like, oh yeah, Among Us big props to them. I will say I do not believe Axiom Verge is on here. That's um, fine. Oh <laughs> how dare you, sir? No, no, no disrespect to Axiom Verge, but like it's a Metroidvania when like what like a good quarter of these are already metroidvania so if you have to chop off something i guess the so bottom, it's gonna be that i guess so and um, and I, you can tell and maybe i'm wrong about this but you could tell greg miller put something on this list tell tall is the walking dead that would not be on this list if that man did not put that on there i would be very I, shocked if that was like like voted for a lot i'll say this i love he, here's the thing walking dead's gonna lose because it's up against hollow knight which is knight bullshit is by the way I would yeah, that needs like, to be like at least quarterfinals or something. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But like for me, The Walking Dead has so much resonance to me where I would probably vote for The Walking Dead over Hollow Knight. Even I would too. I know Hollow Knight is great, but goddamn, I I wouldn't have even put Telltale on here. I would have gone for something more indie cuz like I said a lot of these feel too big to be an indie. Yeah. I would I, say I agree. As, yeah. I, I would just really quickly say as far as things that I would pick as winners Slay the Spire would get up there, but then at a certain point, it would be the Forgotten City versus Slay the Spire for me. And that's a Sophie's Choice that terrifies me. <laughs> that is two <laughs> Emmett ass games, Forgotten bro. City. So, like, oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't even say that the Forgotten City is an Emmett ass game, but it is because I like the story. Like, so, I, and I, I only say that is because, like, when I think of Forgotten City, I think of Emmett because you, like, champion oh, that game. Like, you champion <laughs> that game, bro. Like, you're the reason I played it. And oh, I, well. And I played it and I was like, damn, this is fucking good. And then that yeah. ending. Yeah. It's that ending. Um maybe the best ending in any medium, but um, yeah, that that's where I'm at. I'm looking at a lot of these and I'm like, those two are really the ones that get me. Of course, I love Gone Home just like you. Talked about the Walking Dead as well. Inside, I would also say I so, have a lot of time chopping if, off. But if we if yeah. if we can, because I'm actually kind of interested. Um Ooh, okay. can you can you pick one title out of each category and then we'll see who wins as a fast way of doing this okay so one from the circle one from cross triangle and square yes so one from each All category because right. we seem to be having fun i'm having fun achievers we we're loose we're loose on this show we're loose <laughs> on this show we're i'm calling an audible no no better man to have this conversation with than when emma's walked as junior so i'm gonna do this very quickly um fair but Ooh. I want to know. I, I, I'm dying to know. And I, I apologize. I have it on here. You can't fucking see it. You can't see it. But oh, yeah. I, I have it on the screen if you want to see if you can. I'll see if I can save this even. Hold on. I'll see if you want to like, um, because you can make it full screen if you go to their tweet, which I have linked right That's here. true. Yeah, if you can actually I'll, put yeah, that on the thing for me. That. Or I'll, I'll just put it on the dock. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it, put um, it right on the dock for me. And then if people want to look around with us when they're listening, then we can, oh, wait, uh, I have to get access. I'm just going to send it to you through chat. That's fine, too. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, maybe they can check check out their Twitter to see what's up with that. But yeah, to, to say one from each of these, like I said, Circle Division, uh, it's between Slay the Spire and Forgotten City. And right now, 
I'm going to tell you right now, just a little sneak peek that I haven't announced yet. Um, at some point this year, I am planning on doing amendments to my Keeping It 100 list. Okay. I'm putting I'm putting both Slay the Spire and the Forgotten City on that list. But since I have to make a choice right now, I'm going to say the Forgotten City. Um, just because that story just hits so fucking hard. It is one of the greatest stories in maybe not one of the greatest stories ever, but definitely one of the most satisfying endings ever in any medium. So shout out to that. Um, for the cross division. I'll be honest, a lot of these games I did not play. Uh, like Sifu, Kenna, didn't play that. I, I think I've only played Limbo, A Short Hike, and Fi Firewatch and Gone Home. So really, for out of here, it'd be Gone Home versus, where is it, uh, A Short Hike. And for me, I would say, I would say Gone Home. Gone Home's too impactful for me. Um, I love a short hike. That's also on my top 100, as is Gone Home. But I've Gone not played Home short should... hike, so I I I can't say anything yeah. about it. A short hike's great. Like it's it's like what seven bucks play, it, and it's literally 90 minutes long. God, Circle um, is nuts. Holy shit. Yeah, Circle. Celeste, is Forgotten City, yeah, it, Slay it, the crazy. Spire. Like my God, how do I? I have to. Oh wait. Let's do it that way. So I just did my circle. Forgotten City is mine. So you do your circle, then we'll both do our cross. Okay. So yeah. Let's... I will have to I will have to say Celeste. Um it is a great game. Soundtracks. Um it tackles something that's pretty rare, although not too rare now, but it was, it's pretty rare. It's it's very deep into like just mental health in general. The self doubt that a lot of people have. That I mean the game is about almost like self doubt and just your overall well-being and i i love i love to that game uh it's i'm not a 2d platformer so it's a surprise that i liked it it, it is that's shocking to me because i am not the i'm not a platformer guy really i don't really jive with them very much but this game was very special i loved it and it was very nice and again that soundtrack is nuts like it is so good yeah. um and very followed very closely by forgotten city i very much did enjoy that game it's very good but it is a shame um I have small, small nitpicks where Celeste was almost a perfect game for me. I will say before we're done with Circle, Doki Doki Literature Club, shout out to that game. That's just a I, yeah, big ass shout out. That's the probably that, that might be the most unique game released in the last five years. Oh, easily, for sure, the, for sure. easily, definitely, definitely. So yeah, just shout out to that game. I love it too. But we're, Sophie's choice here. We got to throw one of the babies out with the bathwater. Um, and so going to cross, uh, it's easy for me. Cross, yeah, I, I'm going to say Gone Home just because me too, like literally that game. I got my first mm -hmm. computer the year that game came out and I got a printer with it because I was going to college. I sold the printer to get a Steam gift card so I can play Gone Home on that new computer. Nice. <laughs> nice. So like I just think big memories with that. game. So I have not played a lot of these, so I, I can't sit here and be like, oh, you know, I play actually a good bit. I played probably a little less than half. And I will say pretty, it's very much between Gone Home and Death's Door, and Death's Door was so fun, so it's going to be really hard, but Gone Home has a special place, because just the environment and the dialogue and me learning about that story, I, I, think, I, I think I have to pick Gone Home. Fair. All right, I respect that. Um, ooh, God damn it, I just saw Triangle. Tri I thought Triangle was going to be easy, but it's actually going to be a little difficult. It is um, only easy because mine is is a perfect experience, whereas like everything else, I have like slight problems with. But like, about, yeah. yikes! Like it 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 is hard, but I had such a bonding experience with the game I, I chose. All right, so just to say the things that I've played out of Triangle, I've played. You could have taken off Fat Princess too for fucking Risk of Rain too, but that's whatever. I've played but, Fat Princess again, again to be again. I told you I would be annoying. Why are there two guacamelees? Why? Yeah, why the are there two guacamelees? One or two. It's just like, one or two on and now. something else. Like, why are there two of them? Man, Sorry. I am going to burn down their studio. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, we uh, are you, going you, to be arsonists. Kind of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if the studio burns down after I recorded this, that was <laughs> um, Fat Princess I've played. Guacamele I've played. Inside. Bastion. Journey and i played nidhogg nidhogg's actually a pretty good pick i i've and played I'm everything also... you listed i played rocket league i did not play oh, bucks yeah, snacks yes yeah. 
Yeah, that's yeah. all. Oh, and I played Guacamelee. I think you mentioned that, though. Yeah, I've played I've played a lot of Triangle. I've only not played maybe two of them. I tried Nobody Save the World, and it's not that it's bad. It's just I, I got sidetracked with, like, work and things. So, like, I, I need to go back to it. I, I want I very much want to. Fair. Yeah, I, I played the great many of these. I even put a decent amount of time in a Hollow Knight. But uh, it's really no contest for as much as I love a lot of these games. Like, Fat Princess is on my all-time list. So is Guacamelee. So is like I said, Bastion is, but it's Bastion is like number ninety seven or something. It's very low. It hurts so, that Bastion and Journey are like that hurts are, is right. like their first together. Like, and I think Journey wins like almost no contest, but ba- like Bastion yeah. deserves at least like to win the first set. Eighties <laughs> on here, and it's going pretty far. It's up against Fez. Like, yeah, no that was a Fez, like, that was a knockout <laughs> punch in the first round. Not even close exactly so but for me the one i would pick out of this whole thing telltale's walking dead so Too much resonance for me so literally my 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 semi-final or it's, it's technically quarterfinal sorry my quarterfinals mm-hmm. would be uh walking dead and hades and it has to be hades i love wow. the walking dead so much i love it so much but i can't not say hades because i just fucking love that game i could not stop playing it. i just couldn't i kept I could not t- put the game in. Like, it was very much the definition of, like, all right, one more run. But it it's so, so close. Like, I, I remember, I think The Walking Dead is the first game I cried at. I'm pretty sure. I think I was, like, Yo. 14 or something. Um, And I was playing it. And I, I, I cried a lot at the end of that game. And it was, ama- it was an amazing journey. Oh, my God. I'm kind of talking myself into, actually, it, it winning over Hades. But... Just the gameplay is so solid in Hades, and I was so invested in everyone's um, experience. Although oh. Clementine and um, oh. and, uh, and Lee's Lee. journey will always have a special place in my heart. Let me tell you, I, I all due respect to Hades. I've played a decent chunk of Hades. I understand why it's great and that it's great. I started playing The Walking Dead in the middle of The Walking Dead fever over my whole household because we all just watched the show together. So me and my little brother would play the games together. And we have played every single episode of that game for, since it came out. So it's been like, what, close to a decade once season four came out? Yeah. Like, that's, I, we've grown up together with that franchise. I plan on naming my daughter Clementine if I'm, if I'm lucky enough to have one. Um, and, you know, whenever I think of The Walking Dead, I also conflate that my love of the game with my love of my little brother. Cause that's like a big bonding thing we have. And so like literally when I did my um, live stream, when I was revealing my top 100 list, when I got to the walking dead, I started crying. Cause I, it just got me very emotional. Cause I love that series. And it just makes me, it, it's just a lot of memories. So that's what everything I'm voting for rather than just, Oh, Hades is fun. <laughs> talking me into it, bro. So You're talking me into it. I, I it's hey, very personal experience though. It's very, very hard, and I think it would change by the day. I, I always say this. My top 10 games changes almost every day. So, like, I, I make the list, but I'm always like, eh, this could change. Like, eh, eh, eh. I, I, like it's, all, it, it's yeah. always an ever-living being, and, and it's very hard. It is very hard to choose because it's almost like story or gameplay. It, it, it almost boils down mm-hmm. to that. Like, it, did, I, exactly. did I enjoy my, the story experience more? Or did I enjoy the rock solid gameplay of Hades more? And it's so so fucking hard. I don't know. I don't really have an answer. But in t- in sake of quickness, I will have to stick with Hades, I guess. Yeah. What's even harder is Square. I got to be honest. I actually I've played some stuff in Square. Um, Square I is a- my least caring category. Everything else has Dang. some pretty great games. This one I. This is like a, eh, eh. I'll just say mine because I I'm, I have nothing really to add to any of this. Um, and I know I know everyone listening to this is like, um, Undertale's on there. What the fuck? I haven't played Undertale, so I I, I yeah, can't maybe. I can't tell you. But um, I I love Overcooked, and it would be Overcooked and um, uh, Severed. Uh, would be like the the quarterfinals, and I probably give it to Overcooked just because I had so yeah. much fun with the game. Although this is a uh, this is a cheating a little bit um i played it with my wife and that was a great bonding experience that we did technically she was my girlfriend at the time so like it was it was just a very fun experience to have a game that together we were yeah (laughs) yeah and we were rolling through we wouldn't leave a mission until it was three stars so we just kept going and going It was very fun so i i I go i go overcooked for sure for square but again it's not a very contested category for me 
Yeah, uh, Overcooked is one that's up there for me as well. As far as other things I've even touched on here, like Fall Guys, I've played a little bit of. Uh, what, what's the other one I just saw? Uh, oh my god, Resogun's oh, an Cost- incredible game. Yeah, Resogun's a good game. I played a decent bit of Resogun. Costume Quest, I've played. I haven't played a that one. Lot of- I beat Costume Quest, so out of all these, I've only beaten Costume Quest and Overcooked, but I played a little bit of Rogue Legacy, played a little bit of, you know, a couple games on here. What I want to do is be like, oh, because I played Guacamelee 1 and loved that so much, I'd probably like Guacamelee 2, but I'm not going to really count that. Same thing for Little Nightmares. I love Little Nightmares 1. I think that game is great, but I haven't played 2. So out of all of these, I might have to just say Overcooked as well. That is a staple of parties i go to whenever i bring the ps4 is either jackbox or overcooked so you know that's that's always going to be something that i like and it you know once again family and friend memories are always going to be stronger than oh the gameplay's fun but overcooked has legitimately pretty good gameplay so who the fuck yeah, put after party on this it, greg who put the who put the fucking after party in there? It, it, like it, that doesn't it barely beats anything in, in this game like, i don't yeah. know I guess you have there to have so a bottom, many, but there's so many games that I'm like, yeah. this, that's not on there. Again, I don't want, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be a dick. Fu- man, <laughs> I'm, I'm very salty. I'm going to email fact, them. Oh, you know what? Okay, so you got all those indies on here. Where the fuck is, I'm, okay, I'm looking at my top 100 list. Deep Rock Galactic could have gone on there. That's, fu- it, actually, that probably doesn't feel like an indie game, but I think it technically is. I don't know. Torchlight 2 could have gone on there, damn it. This is That's not an great- indie, but it is interesting that Minecraft is not in there. But again, that that has gone so oh. far, but it launched as an indie game. Like it originally was I, a indie game, but it can be argued yeah. by the time it got the consoles, like they were huge by that time. So like it's hard to really was, say. Yeah. By the time it got the consoles, that was more or less a Microsoft game at that point. Yeah. Uh well, by the time it got the PS4. PS3 and all that it stuff. Was it was still very cool. Microsoft. Even when it came to PS4, I, I feel like people really were like, it's mm-hmm. kind of still an Xbox game, though. It felt it was strange, and, it's, and it seems strange to say that now, but like when they bought them, it was almost kind of like a no-brainer. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Like, it just, you, when you think of Minecraft, for, for whatever reason, you think of the 360. And, yep. But it started on PC, and it was like a beta. And shit, like, I don't know. Yep, exactly. I'm right there with you. I'll, also, I will point out, there's no PSVR in here, but Static one of my favorite vr games just hands down so i wish that was on here very short indie puzzle experience in vr love that game also where the fuck is steam world dig yeah steam world dig uh, which one one or two i only played the first one two two Two? is the one i would say because it makes a lot of improvements to the gameplay that even that make it even more fun to play but really either one would have been great uh really should have got some representation there um and yeah i maybe would say shadow warrior 2 but I know that Shadow, the Shadow Warrior trilogy, modern day series, people can take it or leave it. Um, also, if we're putting Telltale Walking Dead up here, we could have taken off Guacamelee 1 or 2 for fucking Tales from the Borderland. Oh, like, Tales from doing? Borderland is some of the best writing in video games to me. Exactly. Um, especially if yeah, you uh, say comedically. Like, comedically, it's some of the best out there. It might be the funniest video game I've played. Period. Hey, other than the South Park games. Like it, it's really those three, and it's like I need to beat South Park. That's, they're great. Yeah. They're great games. It, he'll fucking hilarious. I mean, it's South Park. It's you're playing a South Park show basically, but it's a for video sure, game. For sure. So yeah, yeah. Good bracket. Uh, I'm gonna be really annoyed listening to this podcast tomorrow. Oh, I'll be fuming. But like, I you know what? You know, I might get who cares? Chat today and be like, "Where's Risk of Rain 2? And just spam it in chat. Just keep spamming it until eventually someone looks at you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll see about it. All right, moving. Uh, moving. On. Oh, do you have a, a one winner just to cap it all out? Do you have oh. the one winner? Ooh, it's Hades for me. Uh, my one winner probably has to be The Walking Dead. Yeah. Because for as much as I love all these other games, I have emotional things tied into The Walking Dead at this point. So I just yeah. Can't, if I, I could can't have it, if I could have it my way, it would be Hades, Walking Dead, like one and two. Like, like they're mm-hmm. so close. It's it's even. It's hard to even tell you like which one I. I would for prefer. Sure. I'll say The Walking Dead would probably go up against The Forgotten City, though. That's that's what I could probably say. Um, but yeah, Walking Dead wins, hands down, for all the reasons I've said. <laughs> I'd like to begin the show with a singular question that I ask my co-host every single week, and that is... 
What have you been playing? We're beginning the show 40 minutes in. No, 38 uh, minutes <laughs> in, we are beginning the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, but, hey, good for you. I do actually have some interesting things that I've been playing. Um, what I was hoping that I would have to talk about is me playing Rumbleverse because I tried to wake up at 11 to play that when the servers went live. I uh, did not do that <laughs> as we've we talked about right before the show. I woke up right before this podcast started. Um, but I have been playing something that I've talked about previously on here. I finally got around to it. I just ripped off the Band-Aid. That is... Can I scroll down and see it? Where? The, where oh, there it is. Uh, Stranger... 